Well, excited, uh, you know, have the regional back here in Miami. Uh, great opportunity for us. Uh, just had a good short practice and a good meeting with the players. And uh, basically just, uh, you know, getting ready for what we feel is a great regional here with the teams that are here. But our main focus is Maine. Uh, it's the first team we play. And, uh, you know, our guys are excited, obviously, and uh, looking forward to the, for the opportunity in front of us. All right, we'll go into questions now. We'll start with folks in the room here, and then we'll move open it up to Zoom after that. Coach, uh, heading to the ACC championship, you told us that you wanted to leave there better than when you arrived. Do you think that's the case, and what was your biggest takeaways from that tournament? I do think it's the case, and we emphasized how important that tournament was to us. I felt like in the past we haven't played well in the ACC tournament, so we did make an emphasis on – doing a better job of that because it's, you know, you go in there and not playing well. And then you know, it just doesn't make sense to lead into going into the regionals. Just don't have that feel of like last year, I almost felt like, I guess the term is limped into the tournament. It's kind of how I felt. Uh, that's not the case with this team. I think we're playing some of our best baseball right now. And uh, you know, if we were able to maybe have some pitchers on deck, on hand in the last game, I think the outcome might have been differently. Certainly, the score would have been differently, but um, but that's okay. Yeah, I think our guys did a great job with that. But you know, I just told them the ACC tournament now is over. Now it's the regionals, and that's all we should be focused on. Nothing else. And our guys did a good job of lock, you know, being locked in on NC State. We're, we weren't looking ahead to anything else, and um, and that's how we have to be tomorrow with Maine. And then just going from you know. Uh, Opponent territory coming back home around your fans now. Just how relieving is that to be home in this big stage? I think anybody, I mean, you know, would like to be at home for so many reasons. Your your ballpark, your field, you practice on it every day, you play there, you got your fans. It's uh, you know, your bedroom, you know, your food uh, that you're eating that you're used to. It's just uh, it's it's something that you're used to doing all the time. Not that going on the road can't be successful that way either, but. Um, you know, the University of Miami has had great success over the years, historically here. And uh, but you know, all that you throw aside, we at the end of the day, teams are going to win and move forward. The team's playing best baseball. And I feel good about where our team is at right now. We need to continue to do that. Um, and I would like to see us continue to get better. I still want to see us get better. And uh, there are areas where we can do that. Gage, you pitched really well in the region last year. You had seven strikeouts. How do you feel you handle these kind of big time atmospheres? Yeah, you know, with these type of games, you know, um, especially in the regional last year, we were in an elimination game. And, uh, you know, it, it's just whatever it takes. And I, I try and tell the guys that, and JD too, that whatever it takes, whatever it takes to get done. And uh, that's the mindset you got to have with these games. And for you, Blake, just, you know, you got your first taste of postseason play. How do you think the ACC championship prepared you for, you know, what's upcoming now? Um, I'm actually really excited, like, how we played in the ACC uh, championship, like, to show the rest of the country what kind of baseball that we can play with how well we played over there as a team and um, how we just bonded, like, the whole weekend. No matter who we were playing, no matter what was happening, we just took it one game at a time. And I'm just ready to do that now in the NCAA tournament. Gino said earlier this week, you guys break on two things. You break on Omaha, you break on family. Who started the family? I would say that's just a Miami tradition. Like, that's honestly the number one reason why I came here, because I knew even since I committed, since the eighth grade, that it's always been a family tradition down here. And I think that's why the University of Miami has been such a successful program in every sport, just because it's family-based. Blake, you've had an amazing season just hitting the ball. Um, what, what has worked for you this season, and have you learned from – any of the other hitters on the team to kind of improve your game? Yeah, of course. I mean, I've taken something, honestly, from everybody on the team, even, like, for some pitchers, like, just on my mindset. But, like, well, on the hitter side of it, I mean, you got Yo-Yo, CJ, Zach, Dom, Carlos, Gardo. You have all these different kind of hitters, and you can just pick them apart just watching them and kind of create your own thing. And then again, like, we got Lopes, and that's how hard we work every day, every practice on just our plan. You know, we have a plan for each game, each team that we play. So it's just what we're doing right now and how we're prepared to play bait. You draw a lot of walks recently. How did your play approach change from the first half to the second half of the season? Uh, I just, I mean, I think honestly it's just been with how many games I've played, how many bats that I'm getting, and um, just getting used to just this college baseball atmosphere and 
towards the end of the year, like what teams are trying to do. And, but I mean, I'm just staying true to my approach and seeing the ball and let it come to me. And that's it. Stay, stay as simple as possible. We'll open it up to Zoom now. If anyone has any questions uh, from Zoom, please use a hand raise function waiting to be called on. Questions from Zoom continue. While we wait to see if you have anything there. Um, for Gage and Coach, you know, last year you guys hosted a regional and the national champion ended up coming out of the Coral Gables region. Do you talk at all about last season or is it strictly low focus on the future now? I, I mean, I have. I don't. It's not something that you do on a daily basis, but pick your – times we just spoke about it and i have a few other times throughout the year about that experience and uh the disappointment and that feeling which is good to draw from i think it's it's certainly a good motivating factor Um, we got a lot of guys back from that team last year uh, gage being one of them he knows and a lot of our other veteran guys know and so that's something that um you know we certainly don't want to have happen and watch happen on our field again and uh, but we know you got to play good baseball. At the end of the day, you got to play good baseball. You got to do the right things in so many different areas that can cause you know your success or you going home. And so uh, yeah, it's something we've talked about not a lot, but just a few times. Just uh, it's not something I don't think I need to with this team. They're, they're aware of it. Do you from a player standpoint? Yeah, uh, definitely. Last year it was heartbreaking. Uh, something you're never going to forget. But uh, you know, this year we've we're working as hard as we can and, and we're going to do whatever we can so that uh, that feeling doesn't happen. Any more questions from in the room? Um, yeah, you know, pitching management was tremendous in the ACC tournament. Yeah. You think you have it all together for uh, going into the tournament? <laughs> well, there's, there's, uh, we've been doing it certainly unconventional. Um, and uh, the regional is, is, is definitely going to be in that same situation you're playing you know, different teams and you back-to-back days and, uh, but, you know, similar to a weekend series, but might have to add a day in there and some games in there. Um, it's kind of been all hands on deck other than really gauge, you know, uh, even with Rosario now, we've put him in the pen. He can start. He has, thank goodness he has the arm that he's able to do that. He can bounce back very quickly. So he could start, he can come out of the pen, um, it has worked out for us. We've seemed to be very successful when we've gone with uh, bullpen by committee, if you will. Uh, we've played a lot of rubber match games uh, in the second half of the season where we're going in the night before going, okay, how are we going to do this, J.D.? Who's, who's starting this game and how, how are we going? Okay, this guy can give us an inning. This guy can give us two. And so, but that, that's that's the makeup of our team. That's that's what we, we've, we've had to go with uh, because of – certain setbacks at the beginning of the season. So, um, yeah, we, we'll all have to see how it all unfolds. Everything that happens in front of us dictates what we do moving forward. So, obviously, we'd like to have a good outing from Gage uh, tomorrow and uh, hopefully not have to use the bullpen a lot. But if we have to, we have to. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just adjust as we go and what we see happens in front of us. Yeah, Rosario's performance had to be a lift for the whole team. How's that, Carson? Well, I will say Rosario's performance was a lift. Everybody's pulling for Alejandro. Everybody knows how talented he is, and uh, um, nobody more than me. And I'm the guy who keeps putting him back out there and because I have faith in him. I just know how how good he can be. And um, so I was certainly happy to see that. Ligon, we were happy that he was able to throw you know, two and a third, I think it was, you know, around 50 pitches. I think we took him out. He was around a 50-pitch count. So hopefully he can be up to maybe 65, maybe 70. We'll see. Hopefully he can be efficient. Um, it's his first outing since he threw. Uh, oh, my goodness. We're going way back here. He threw one time against Florida State. and He came out. And then, of course, we Georgia Tech was the team he threw against. And, you know, he, he the good news is he feels good. That's the most important thing. He feels good. He felt really good after that outing. He wanted to stay in the game longer. Those are all good signs. Mentally, he's in a good place. Um, and the ball was coming out of his hand good considering uh, how long it had been since he'd thrown in a game live. So uh, we feel good about him being able to throw this weekend, uh, but obviously he is still kind of somewhat on a pitch pitch count. Thanks. Yeah. Coach, I just wanted to ask, um, you said the main focus right now is the main. What have you seen from them that, you know, makes them a different way forward? You know, what's <laughs> that about them? Well, they got a few guys uh, that can run. 
uh, high numbers stolen base wise. We've done a pretty good job of holding runners. Our pitchers do a pretty good job of that. Gage does a good job of that. Gage is a good athlete. So he's, he's good move, quick feed. And he's, he's, uh, he, he feels his position good, but he, uh, but yeah, you know, you always got to worry about guys that can steal and run because you don't get a lot of that, you know, throughout the year. There's a team or two that maybe runs, but not a lot. You don't run like the old days. The stolen base is not like the old days. It's harder to run now. And they got some guys with power, you know, so they got some guys who can hit the ball out of the ballpark. So, um, you know, like it's anybody that's made it this far, they're, they're here for a reason. They won their conference tournament or they're just playing really good baseball and they earn their right to be in here. So, and we all know in our sport, this is to me the most humbling team sport there is out there. Anything can happen on any given day. And that's why you got to be ready. Everybody's got to be ready and you know, bring your A game and play well to be successful and move on. Coach, you talked about the, the, pitching, the pitching staff really having uh, – it being a challenge, but Gage has been kind of the one consistent for you. Can yeah. you just talk a little bit more about him and what he really means to the team? Being yeah. Well, he's one of our captains. Um, on the pitching side, he's one of our captains. And then Walton Torres and uh, Gage, um, actually, he, he was our ace going into the season. He pitched better than anybody in the fall. And in the scrimmages coming up to it, he actually got off to a kind of a slow start. I was never concerned of it only because I know Gage's makeup and his character. They're kind of the reason why, and he is right now still too, is to be an ace or be a Friday guy, you, you got to have a certain mentality. You got to be tough. You got to be able to handle adversity. And, uh, and he got some thrown right at him, right out of the gate. Didn't pout, didn't whine, didn't cry. We, we flipped him and Ligon, not a problem. He, he, he's, he still had the same mindset. You knew it was going to click. It's just a matter of time. He's going to get back to his winning ways, and um, and he has. So, I think a lot of players respect Gage because he's kind of he's an old school, you know, business type guy. And there's not a lot of messing around with Gage. He's kind of serious about what he does, and uh, I'm I would say players look up to that certainly and have a lot of confidence and faith in him. As do I. And Gage, uh, can you just talk about your growth uh, this season? Yeah, you know, I definitely started out uh, pretty rough, uh, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, they, they stuck with me. And, uh, you know, my teammates had my back through it all, so I can't thank them enough. Get you guys out of here. One last question for Blake. Um, just your excitement to be playing the home regional. Coach talked about the benefits of familiarity and comfort and all that, but just to be in front of the fans who supported you guys all year and have the opportunity to play postseason baseball in front of them. Yeah, of course. I mean, it means so much to me and, and just as the team. Um, we've had we've had great success throughout the season playing here at home in front of the fans, and I'm just glad that we can um, hold the NCAA tournament here for them and should be really excited to be uh, playing with our fans here behind us. Actually, just got one last one from Zoom. Chris Stock to wrap it up. Yeah, Coach, just your thought process on name and gauge the starter for Friday. If you could just walk us through your thought pro I know you had a lot of different options. Yeah, you know, again, it's our, our staff is not the, the conventional. You have your one, two, three, and four. And, of course, the old days you'd throw your, you know, your, your two in game one and your one in game two and then your three in game three. And I'm just going back in time. That's kind of the old days of doing it. But those days are, have come and gone. Um, everybody's a little different. And I'm speaking our history and how we've done it. But with our situation, we just felt like, you know, trying to save the bullpen is you don't want to eat up your bullpen in game one. Um, that, that, that can make it tough moving forward as you go through the weekend. And we felt like I mean, Gage is the, is the best guy that's going to eat innings up, not have to use our bullpen, be able to utilize those guys, not have to use too many, hopefully, and, and then have the bullpen really fresh for moving forward in the tournament. So, um, yeah, that, that was kind of just the main thinking of that, Chris.